Good morning everyone, this is Chinmay from Meikoto Clinic. Today we are going to discuss on Sprag Clutch, the unit which is used in, Spray, uh, in Royal Enfield Motorcycle for starting purpose. Now, what is that unit actually or why do we need to change it all the time? So the problem is with the bearing and the unit which is given from the company side. We are going to show you what kind of a spare is there. In our previous video, we have showed you how to replace the sprack clutch. Now we are going to talk about the actual sprack clutch. This is sprack clutch from, or this is damaged sprack clutch from the Royal Enfield motorcycle. There are two types of gears which are fitted all together. One is this every sprocket or the sprocket is a dual tip base sprocket and another is a sprack clutch gear this is attached to the starter through the drive train this one is attached to the clutch through the clutch chain now what is the problem in this unit or what happens basically how it gets damaged as i said there are two gears but the vital spare is a bearing Company is right now providing one bearing. If you want to replace the bearing only, you can. But we advise not to do that because all the spares are depending on each other. These are not independent spares. So, just to save you a few bucks, if you replace the only bearing, then you might come or you might face the same problem again very soon. So, better to replace the whole unit rather than replacing the bearing. Now, this is the sprocket or the empty sprocket what we have removed now <coughs> as you can see this face is very much important and so this face this face is given for the roller bearing and this face is given for the main sprack clutch bearing this is sprack clutch bearing you cannot make out the exact damage in this bearing or in the unit. This is the main sprack clutch gear or the housing. There are two, three face, uh, two faces which are important and one bearing which is important to get activated sprack clutch in the bike. One is this face, second is this face and third is the bearing the bearing basically fits in the housing and rotate like this way when the clutch gets engaged or the bearing gets engaged the torque from the sprack clutch here transfers through the bearing to the sprocket so this face is very much important because this is the clutching surface this face is clutching surface and so the so this face this is outer race what we can call if it is a bearing and this is inner race the bearing is a unit which has got different design in this as you can see the balls or the bearing balls are coming out of the unit that means one thing what we can judge is that the spring which is there in, in between the bearing is gone because it has got over slackness. Number two, this dimension or the ID of the housing has to be maintained and the OD of this sprocket has to be maintained. If this one gets decreased or if this phase gets increased or the ID gets increased then the bearing expands little bit at higher side even if the bearing gets worn out this main surface is important because this is clutching this basically grips with this surface and this surface so changing only this unit is not advisable because we do not know which spare is exactly gone from this all three spare there is a possibility that this face is gone if you have the database from your side or from the company side then you can measure this one but you cannot make out exact dimension because you have to check all the side number two 
this face may be damaged we do not know unless until we have the database from the company side what is the tolerance required for this track clutch we do not have if we do not have then better to change the whole unit so there is a possibility that this face is damaged or there is a possibility that this bearing is damaged so we do not know which is the exact spare is gone since we don't have the proper database now what happens in track clutch why why the track clutch fail the track clutch basically has got system which can rotate only one side if it rotates both side like clockwise and anti clockwise then the sprag is gone now as you can see this is not under load that is the reason sometimes it is moving one side sometimes it is not now this is clutching one side so the main unit should not rotate both side right now this is rotating only one side that doesn't mean this is a proper clutch when we removed the bar or when we tested the bike we found the sprag is gone because this was rotating both side so sometimes it is rotating one side sometimes it is not sometimes means what when it is not rotating one uh, both side that means the clutch is in good condition that time the bike used to start now when the bearing was not catching up the gripping of the surface that time it was rotating like this also so now deliberately i removed the bearing you just had to consider the bearing is inside <clears throat> if the wheel is rotating both side that means your sprag is gone if it is rotating only one side that means your sprag is not gone but you have to check it when the unit is fitted inside the bike without load it will show you the sprag clutch is working that doesn't mean that the sprag is proper so whenever you are working on the sprag clutch first of all never think about saving your rupees is better to you change the whole unit and <coughs> starting starting the sale start if you don't want this unit inside your bike best way is to remove this bearing place it place the sprocket like this way and you can use directly without the bearing so it will not damage any other component inside the bike generally we have found the bearings we have found broken bearings inside the clutch casing which may damage some other spares so best is to either change the whole unit or disconnect the bearing or just disconnect the drive train which is given for the starter thanks for watching stay connected